Hi. One of the things which uh, I get asked a lot is about watermarks, um, putting a watermark on your image. Um, normally, uh, you can obviously put a type print over, but it's, if, you, if you've got the same watermark you want to add each and every time, I've got a nice easy way for you to do it. Um, here we go. So I've got an image of a young model here, and what I want to do is put a watermark here, but not just any watermark, one that I'm going to use all the time. The very first thing I did was I created a document which was um, in size 900 by 900 and made sure that uh, it was uh, 300 resolution pic uh, pixels because you may want to print this at some stage so you don't want to lose pixels in your uh, watermark. Once you've done that and you've got a document that looks like this, 900 by 900 by 900, then what you want to do is create whatever logo watermark you want to do and put it into this area. Um, and that could be anything. I mean, you could you just use, use your uh, text tool and type in your name. You know, that's one way of doing it. Um, or you could type in photography. And that's it. Basically, what you should really do is put it into black um, and you'll see why a bit later on. And once you've got your print, what I always suggest is that you make sure that the print is as large as the, the actual image itself. So drag it out to the edges. The reason being is that you don't know what size watermark you're going to want in the future. So this way you've got the largest um, you could possibly have. Okay, so I'm not going to actually use this particular watermark. I've got one created beforehand, which looks a little bit like this. And of course, you can go off and create whatever it is you want the watermark to be. But this is going to be my watermark of choice. Once you've got it, and you've edited it, and you've done all the bits and pieces you want, and this looks the way you want it to, then what I will do is go up to Image. Stop. Make sure you're on the layer first of all. Come back here. Image and define brush presets. Now this is important. Um, what you effectively want to do is create a brush that looks exactly like what I've got on the screen. So here we go. Once you've done that, that's it. It asks you for a name. I'm going to call it Watermark. That way I can recognize it, obviously. You can call yours whatever you want it. And then say, OK. That's the first stage done. So once you've done that, what the system has done is, is created a brush that looks exactly like this on my screen. So I come back over to my picture, and what I now want to do is I want to add a watermark in here. Now, if I add it in black, I may lose a few bits and pieces. So just to show you, I'm going to actually add it in red, just to be a little bit outlandish. And here we go. Create a new layer, right, which is where the watermark's going to sit on. Go to your brush tool. And if you click on the brush tool, it'll give you all the brushes that you've got on your system. Um, by default, what Photoshop does is puts the last brush you created at the end. I'll show you a bit later on how you can bring that forward. But for the moment, uh, there it is. Uh, so if I double click on that, as you can see on screen, it gives me the outline of my watermark. So I'm planning on it being down here. I've already allocated red as the color. All I need to do is click once. And there it is, right? I'll then go back in and touch, hit the Move tool, just purely and simply to get rid of the uh, logo. Otherwise, you tempt it to click on screen and get another one. I only need one. Uh, from a size point of view, of course, now it's on its own layer. I can do a Control T, which is a transform. Hold Shift down to keep the proportions, and I can make it a bit smaller to how I actually want it. I can then let go of the shift and bring it over to the corner, which is where I want it to be. And if I'm happy with that, approve it. And there you have it. That's now gone into place. Happy with that. And that's how you add on. So whenever I want to come back um, on another image, all I need to then do is go to my brush tool, find where uh, I've put the uh, watermark, click on it, and it's ready to go again.
right? And it, and it will always be exactly the same for all the images. Okay, last thing I suppose I want to show you is how you control or where you put the watermark so you can easily reach it. Um, so if I come back to my brush tool and I click on this, on, on the actual brushes, uh, having it at the end is probably a bit inconvenient at times, so let's put it at the front. What you do is you go up to this little uh, sprocket settings button, you click on that, come into the middle where it says preset manager, click on that, and this then gives you um, the list of all of your uh, brushes um, that you've got in Photoshop. So if you click and simply drag to where you want to keep it, I put my watermark at the front here and say, OK, done. What that will effectively do when I come back to the brushes again, this time it's up here. So in other words, if you're normally working, which most people work on one of these two, and you want to change to your watermark brush, all you need to do is go in here, and it's the very first one. There it is. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you on the next one.